I didn't know what to expect in this unit, but I'm glad that I chose it. Because the world is in a transition period and I will be a part of it, I think it is important for me to learn about legacy and digital media. It is important to remember that we have not completely moved away from legacy media, but digital media has just become more accessible in this day and age. This unit gave me the opportunity to research my own topic. I chose to write about the digital divide. To begin with, I didn't actually know much about the digital divide, but I wanted to be different and challenge myself with something new. I found this topic in the textbook and it made me realise that it was a serious issue. The digital divide is a worldwide problem. The book called Digital Divides, The New Challenges and Opportunities of Inclusion, written by Kim Anderson, explains what the digital divide consists of and outlines some of the key impacts the digital divide has on society. Sorry, I got the giggles just then. I now understand that there are so many factors to consider when discussing and researching the matter, such as age, education, gender, income, location, immigration, disability and content. After researching this topic, I have also learned that the internet is a powerful source. It allows individuals to retrieve information quicker and has many f communication facilities which allow people to send info to another person in a timely way. It is important that even though people have the opportunity to use the internet, they have the ICT skills and understanding of how to use it. I don't think we should give up on closing the gap, even though the gap will always remain, but I hope it will decrease in size. We can already see that mobile phones have helped enhance connectivity, so maybe sometime in the near future another device will be invented or manufactured and may increase connectivity even more. The topic for Lecture 7 was called Network Culture, and at one point during the lecture, we were asked to draw what we thought a social network looked like. I thought it was I thought this was a really interesting aspect to the lecture, actually having to draw a social network and comparing mine to other students' interpretations of the social network helped me to understand that everyone sees things differently. For me, this was an engaging in class activity. Oh, I mean, it's all very well having someone tell you, hey, this is a social network, but, you know, when you get to actually draw it, you get to participate in it, so it's cool. So thank you for teaching me this unit, Edwin. Bye. <laughs>